just barely stepped off of it. Man, that really sucks. Seriously, that really sucks. I gotta do it all over again. I think I was going the right way, too. That really sucks. What the? That's not what I wanted you to do. It'd be so easy to accidentally step off. Can be a real problem. No, we want to go this way, don't we? Be, move very carefully. Easy does it. Cause one wrong move and you gotta do it all over again. I don't like that camera angle. Here's where we got screwed before. Not letting it happen again. I prefer to be up against the wall. It's much better. And you can't, like, walk off. One step at a time. Whoa. That was close. We're done. That's a pain in the ass. So I guess Nico just kind of has to hang out back there. Uh, no, hey, not. Nico! There aren't any pressure pads at this end. I'll go on ahead and see if I can find a way to get you through. Okay, George. I'll be here. She's just gonna have to hang out there. There was a way out at the far end of the corridor, but there wasn't much floor left. Hmm. Uh. There's gotta be something here. Keep it going, Georgie. That is, there's nothing more you can do there. Really? What's the point of that then? That's a dumb. That's like all you, that, that, that that's it. What's the point of being able to do that if it if it doesn't actually do anything? I don't know. Just a waste of your time, I suppose. Woo!
Wow! Epic fail, George. I think we need to balance that. I think that's what we need to do. think of the puzzles and Tales of Legendia a little bit. Take a lot of pushing around to get each block to where you need it to be. Just push this around. Oh, no, 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 wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Let's move you away from here. Yeah, because then we should be able to pull that one across the platform if we do this. Why is it not? Oh. Since I was pushing it right, I thought I would have to push D. But it's just not the case. Would you? Thank you. And push this across. Then we should be able to pull that top one across to the other side. This definitely reminds me of doing a lot of those puzzles in Tales of Legendia. I'm going to push all the little platforms around into the right little spots. this one back. Too bad you couldn't like just like get super strength and just kind of pick them up and just walk around with them. Oh, that'd make it so much easier. But sadly, it's not to be. You have to do it the hard way. The hard long way. It's just the way it is. This one into place. Then we want to move this one over there, forming a bridge for the top one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we 
Daniel. Man, because I think you only need to get this one over there. And obviously, that's the only one you would be able to get over there, isn't it? Is that all you need to do? Just put it there? Yep. And we're done. Well, well what do we got here? I almost missed this. The crystals in the rock gave off an eerie blue light. Cool. The crystal was embedded in the rock. There was no way to remove it. Okay, well, we'll move on. That's the way you want it. Oh boy. What is this? I hear something. What is that? Got all kinds of craziness in here. A huge crystal pointed toward the next chamber. At the other end, four smaller crystals were set inside cylindrical hollows. This one wasn't going to move anywhere. There was no way of moving the mechanical device. No, well, it's too bad. In the center of the chamber was a huge hole the bottom of which was covered with crystals. Embedded in a ring at the top were two large crystals. They appeared to channel an energy beam from one side of the cavern to the other. And just what am I supposed to do with that? You can walk down there. That's interesting. The device was clearly based on some kind of extraordinary technology. It must have been thousands of years old. There were four small protrusions at one end and three circular hollows at the other. It was far too heavy to move and had no obvious features to push or pull. There were four small protrusions at one end, yeah, okay. and three circular hollows at the other. So what can we do? There's this one that's not, seemingly not doing anything. It was a touch-sensitive panel. For the moment, it seemed to be inactive. Touching the panel had no effect. For the moment, it seemed to be inactive. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, that just takes us back here. Interesting. Above the exit was a lightning symbol, just like the one in Paris. Huh. The top of the pole was a large crystal, one side of which was flat and reflective. It looks like you have to turn these into a certain, certain directions. A rock shelf above had collapsed, dropping one of the ancient machines down to this level. Behind it, I could see a staircase. The machine was far too big and heavy to move by hand. I guess we've got to activate these. Lightning rod things, right? It was a touch sensitive panel. Grasping the ring at the bottom of the pole, I was able to turn the crystal through 90 degree increments. At the top of the pole was a large crystal. 
one side of which was flat and reflective. Set them all right. I don't know. what this one's for then. So I think we need to head back into the previous room. I think we need to power this up. I think that's why it's not really doing anything. I think we gotta do something in here. With these big things. thingamajigger? Some kind of... Oh, okay, I think that's what we're looking for. Let's see. Fantastic! The machinery floated across the floor as if it weighed no more than a feather. I think we're trying to get them all over to connect to that one. The device appeared to be some sort of control console. There was a large circular dial and a panel standing proud of the surface. Hey! Nice! Turning the dial made the central disk rotate just like a turntable. It wouldn't work that way around. Why not? I would have to go this way, I suppose. Not that way. What? Okay, I'm confused. Maybe we have to move the other one first? The device appeared to be some yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, control console. 
trying to figure. There was a large out. circular dial and a panel standing proud of the surface. Not that way. Wrong way. It wouldn't work that way around. Why? I don't understand that. Do we want to do this one? It wouldn't fit that way around. No. If that one doesn't work, then... This one should work, but for some reason it's not. There it goes. It wouldn't go before. The second piece moved into place perfectly. Not sure why. There we go. I, I held my breath as the final piece though. glided into place. We should be able to do something in this next room. Now we gotta figure this out. This puzzle kind of reminds me of uh, Luffy, A Curse of the Sinistrals. That's what this, this makes me think of. But hopefully it won't be anywhere near as annoying as that was. Rotating the crystal deflected the energy beam on towards the next crystal. It's not good. It just goes to the wall. It's not good. expected to hear the, the little Zelda jingle, but there's more over here. I'm not sure what they're for, but maybe you don't need to use them. I don't know. But we can get to the steps either way. What is this? You need this for something? Hey, Nico. There's a shortcut. I right, see, now I think we need to take it to the other ones. Uh, 
I mean, you knew that they would be there for a reason. The machine was far too big and heavy to move by hand. Sir, you got a point of those then? I'm trying to open this. There were no visible means to open the door. Above the door was the lightning side. This was definitely the way to the power side. Each lever illuminated a specific side of the lightning symbol. I see what we need to do. It's pretty simple, really. Can just move this. And I don't want to do it. There we go. Do I have to push the button? Uh, what did I do wrong? 